The Sargent guided missile system is an all-weather, all-terrain, nuclear-capable weapon with quick reaction time, rapid employment and displacement, rugged, reliable, simple in operation, and immune to known countermeasures. The backbone of the Sargent guided missile system is the eight and one half ton launching station, which carries all the equipment necessary to assemble, to program, to orient, erect, and to automatically fire the missile. Three hydraulic jacks provide three point suspension for the launching station at the firing point, stabilizing the platform on which the missile is assembled and fired. When the launcher is leveled, the superstructure is raised hydraulically. The missile sections are brought to the launcher for assembly. Coordination of equipment and procedures enable the sergeant guided missile system to occupy its position in about eight minutes. The rocket motor and guidance section are hung and locked to the underside of the launcher boom. The guidance section is the essential difference between shorter range free flight rockets and the sergeant system. The sergeant guidance section is mated to the rocket motor by four bolts. The warhead section containing the nuclear warhead and arming and firing circuits requires no pre-firing checkout by the crew since all checks are performed automatically by the firing set at the forward end of the launching station. The firing set enclosure houses all the electronic components necessary for the launching. The firing set computer, which programs the missile for launching, processes the firing and target data while the missile sections are being assembled. Sergeant missile assembly is complete when the warhead is bolted to the guidance section and the missile's control surfaces are locked into place. It is now ready for the automatic countdown. The guidance platform is aligned with the firing azimuth by the azimuth orientation system. And as the small sergeant crew clears the area, the automatic countdown is now at X minus 10 minutes. At X minus three minutes, the firing set operator leaves his enclosure to monitor the final moments of the automatic countdown from the remote firing position. During the final seconds, the missile is automatically elevated five degrees, slews to the firing azimuth, and rises to its firing elevation of 75 degrees. The range of the sergeant is from 25 to 75 nautical miles. With these outstanding capabilities, the sergeant guided missile system is normally assigned to the field army with a mission of general support to a corps.